I'm going to show you how to add audio files to your Google Sites. So I often really like to use the 123 Apps website for just creating simple audio. So I just go to Voice Recorder and I'll demonstrate to you here that creating a simple audio file for a Google site is really quite easy. So let's have a look at that audio that I've just made, as you can see. And I'll demonstrate to you here that creating a simple audio file for a Google site is really quite easy. So I want to chop some of that out. I might go back to where is it here. To you hear that create, create, cre creating a simple audio file for a Google site is really quite easy. Create is really quite easy. Hmm. Okay, so we save that. Saves it there. And what we need to do is we need to place our audio file into Google Drive. So one thing that's really important is that your audio file is available to your audience. And just putting it in on your website does not make it available to the viewers of your website. You need to have the settings the same in Google Drive. So how do we do that? Let's have a look. So what you can do in Google Drive is create a folder and I've just called this one public audio files and I'm going to set the share settings of that folder to public. You'll have your option here, get link. Anyone on the internet with this link can view and yours might say something different, but you want to have it so that it's not restricted. It's not just set to the people in your domain necessarily, but you want to make it that anyone with the link can actually view or in our case, listen to the files that get put into this folder. So anything we drag into here now will be public. So I can drag my recording into that folder. Probably a good idea to rename it so that you don't get confused. And now we can place that into our Google site. So the next thing we need to do is we need to copy the link to this file. Get link. And anyone with the link on the internet can view it, or in this case, listen. Let me just copy the link. Done. Now let's go to our Google site, double click, and we're going to choose the embed option. Now we've got embed code and we've got URL. Now we don't need the code. We've already got the URL, which is just a link. So we just paste that in. So we just go insert and there it is. Now it's a bit big and bulky, so we can make it a lot smaller, can't go too small, and you can't shrink it down too much, otherwise the controls won't be there. You don't want it to be like that, or that. That looks like it's the smallest we can go. So when we preview our page, you will discover that creating a simple audio file for a Google site is really quite easy. That's all there is to it. So if you found that useful, maybe check out one of my other videos and maybe even subscribe. Bye for now.